Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be looking at my reflection on the past weekend's football in the Prem and many other leagues and now we're going to also be doing my prediction for the following uh, week of football. So yeah, let's get into it. We're going to start with Sheffield United. Um, they picked up their first win of the season against Wolves. It came with controversy though because there was a pen where he like kicked through the back of him. He kind of touches the calf but really I don't think it is because... The Wolves player hits the Sheffield United player and he goes down. But personally, I think it's a really soft pen. But take nothing away from a pen from Ollie Norwood. It's a class pen. Uh, but yeah, like I said, their first win of the season. So big three points for them in that fight for relegation. But still bottom, lower points from Burnley now. So yeah, it's going to be tight um, come the end of the season for that. Moving on to Luton, they picked up a one all draw against Liverpool. Um, it was last minute equaliser from Luis Diaz. It was like a really good finish. I mean, shoulder, but it, they all count. Um, yeah, they went in front, actually, Luton. But, yeah, it's really nice for Diaz to score, obviously, because what's happening with his family and everything. But, like I said, with Sheffield United, them, these little points for relegation could prove vital come the end of the season. But Liverpool, I'd see it as like a... If I was them, I'd see it as like a two points dropped uh, because, obviously, Luton, no one expects them to pull anything out of it. So they move outside relegation zone now um, on goal difference. Man City, another mega scoreline, 6-1 against Bournemouth. Uh, Bernardo Silva got two. Um, yeah, Doku looks quite good since his move. 50 million is quite a bargain, that. Um, so, yeah, let's just quickly move on because no one cares about City. Um, and, yeah, let's talk about Man United. Eventually, we actually won a game. Um, yeah, so <laughs> during the week we lost 3 0 to Newcastle, but the week before we lost 3 0 to City, but we don't talk about that. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, last minute winner. It's a great finish. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. But yeah, it's a great finish. But again, though, we played really poorly throughout the game. I mean, against bigger teams, we'll get absolutely tanked like we did against City. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can just turn it around. But uh, I don't think it's Ten Argue what's the problem, or the owners. I think it's the players most of the time because their attitude is just not. Not at it, like if we make a mistake or anything, we just sulk about it. Yeah, I mean, they definitely need to change that. So, the final two games of the Prem, what we're going to be talking about, was absolutely phenomenal games. Um, Newcastle against Arsenal, I mean, the controversy in that was unbelievable. So, the ball looks like it's out of play from another angle, but from the above shot, it's in play. But the VAR, they had to stick with their on field decision because they didn't have the angles to see that. Arteta was absolutely livid. Um, but yeah, from my point of view, I think the ball's in because just from the um, headshot I've seen from above it, the, there's a fracture of the ball that's actually in play. It's a bit like in the World Cup with the Japan goal. But yeah, and then Anthony Gordon scores to make it 1 0 Newcastle. <laughs> so let's talk about Tottenham against Chelsea. What a game this was! One of the best games of the season so far, and maybe one of the best games I've ever watched, really. Um, Kuz Leverson took the lead in sixth minute, that's very early. And then Cole Palmer equalised with um, a pen. It's a, definitely a pen. And Romero then got sent off for that because he goes studs up straight on the top of his ankle. It's very dangerous. But there was like five goals disallowed or something like that. And Spurs only ended up with, from the start in 11, only ended up having four players on who started the game. They ended up going down to 10 men through a doggy second yellow. He was very lucky not to get sent off initially. Um, Nicholas Jackson then scored a hat trick for Chelsea to make it a four-one victory for the away side. Um, hopefully, for Chelsea's sake, that they've kind of kicked into form now. Um, but yeah, it's very inconsistent is the word for Chelsea because they lost against Brentford, um, but now they've smashed Tottenham. So yeah. So in the Bundesliga, let's talk about Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. They absolutely tanked Dortmund, and it was at the signal to do the park as well. So yeah. Um, and Kempo took the lead in the fourth minute, quite early again, for especially like a derby like that. And then Harry Kane, he's smashing it out there so far. Obviously scored that halfway line goal the game before. He also got a hat-trick in that one, his first ever game like this. Uh, but yeah, they are flying at the moment. Union Berlin also got tanked 3-0 by Frankfurt as well. Personally, I think Bayern will just run away with the um, league again. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a statement for Harry Kane, he's flying in that league. Um, so far, he's like got I don't know how many goals he's got, but he's definitely got a lot because he's had two hat tricks in the past two games. So literally half an hour ago, the game finished. Dortmund beat Newcastle two 0 Full group, I think that's how you say his name. And Julian Brandt scored. Um, yeah, Newcastle are left third now, depending on the AC Milan result. <coughs> 
sorry my voice went, depending on the AC Milan result, there could be fourth I think by the end of um, the night, but yeah, I mean it's a group of death, they've done incredible so far in Champions League, all this tanking, PSG and everything, and believe it or not, Barcelona lost to Shakhtar 1-0, um, but yeah, they're top of the group by like two points or something like that, so yeah, they don't need to worry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's it for predictions now, let's, sorry, that's it for reaction, and now let's move on to prediction. Now moving on to the prediction for Premier League. Uh, the first game I'm going to choose is Liverpool against Brentford. That could be a tanking for Brentford. Um, Liverpool, but again, they're quite inconsistent this season. Obviously, Joe and Luton, but a few games before that, they have played really good. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, really. All I'm going to say is a 3-0 win for Liverpool. That's what I'm going to say. I think Nunes will score. Obviously, he missed that chance against Luton, but it was offside. Uh, but yeah, I think he's a very good striker this season. But yeah, I'm going to say 3-0 Liverpool. And then, moving on to Chelsea against City. That's a massive game. Um, I don't see Chelsea getting anything out of that game. I'm going to say the score, though. I'm going to say about 3... No, 2-1 Chelsea. Uh, City, sorry. Uh, that's at Stamford Bridge. But yeah, I think City are just going to run away with the league this season. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.